January 2019, CSEC Mathematics, paper question 3A. It says using a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of compasses, construct the right angled triangle ABC such that AB is 5, ABC is 90, and BAC is 60. Let me do a quick sketch of what that might look like first. AB is 5, so might have a b at five centimeter a b c is 90 so at where b is located you have the 90 degrees and b a c is 60 so the 60 would be here okay c would be up here so that's what it's going to look like all right so let's see how we go about doing this. What I want is a pair of compasses. All right, good. I have my compass here. First of all, I need my line AB so I use my ruler and draw the line AB being five centimeters all right so let me put A here A is right here and B is here so AB is five centimeters now At this point, I'm going to construct a 60 degree angle right at A that will look somewhat like this. So, I put my compass point here. Let me kind of sharp reduce the radius of my compass. I want a narrow line for the construction line so what I do is swing an arc let me swing the arc from here I swing an arc all right All right, I swing an arc. I keep that radius, put my compass point here, where the, the first arc intersect with the line, and I swing another arc. That will be part of my 60 degrees. So I'll draw a line from A going through the intersection of both arcs. I will extend it later on. Alright. After that, I'm going to need a 90 degree angle at B. Let me do a bit of extension from B because I think I will need it all 
我睇下到。I locate B. Place the compass point on B. And I swing an arc here. Keep the same radius. All right, same radius. And swing right here. All right. These look a bit far let me not use those arcs i need to reduce i think i need to reduce the radius of the compass some more because i don't want my arc too big it could work but i don't want it too wide so that i don't you i don't fall off the paper all right, so I swing both arcs. Then after that, I increase my radius a bit. I put my compass point at the intersection of one arc and the line. Increase my radius a little bit more and swing an arc here. Come down here swing another arc. Now without changing the radius of the compass I Place the point at the intersection of this other arc and the line. And I swing an arc here. And another one here. <coughs> okay. Now, between these two arcs, same as between... I mean these two intersections of the arc same as between this say this intersection and B that could work but I want it more accurate I want to draw a line between this intersection and this intersection so what I do is a construction line and draw a line between this intersection and this intersection upwards all right then I extend this line up and from B upwards and C would be located right at the top here all right this is kind of bent all right a, a bit bent here now in this case i got a 60 degree here and a 90 degree here i could just label this with the I put, I'm going to just label this as 90 degrees, all right? And there's a 60 degree at this point. Remember, I have to show our construction lines. Now, let me get to a little theory over here. Why is this 60 degrees? You remember that with a right with an equilateral triangle, all sides equal 
all angles equal the angles add up to 180 now if this angle this angle and this angle are each equal then they are one third of 180 which is 60 all right now the theory is that from here to here is the same as from here to here same as from here to here all right remember you did not change the radius of the compass when you put the point here and swung the arc so from here to here from here to here no radius did not change from this point to this point the radius did not change so here to here is the same distance as here to here same distance as here to here all right so this distance is equal to this distance is equal to this distance all right so this is 60 here 60 here 60 here so right here is 60 all right so that's um our construction of the triangle that we're asked to construct in question 3a